I'm Neil Henderson with Wahoo Fitness, and I'm here to talk about the all-new Kicker. Kicker began as a simple idea, a new way to ride indoors. Little did we know we'd ignite an indoor training revolution. Kicker combines unmatched ride feel, performance, connectivity, and accuracy to create the ultimate indoor direct drive trainer. We designed Kicker for cyclists that want to ride and or train indoors with the ultimate direct drive trainer. Wahoo continues to keep its products at the forefront of technology by adding new features while reducing pain points for consumers. With the addition of lightning fast Wi-Fi, Kicker continues to stay ahead of the pack as the smart trainer that gives you the most ways to connect, compete, and train indoors. Let's take a look and see what's inside the box. Every Kicker now comes with a Kicker. We've got the power cord and adapter, quick release skewer, we have the disc brake caliper spacer, a 1.8 millimeter cassette spacer for nine or 10 speed cassettes, a drive side adapter for quick release, a reversible 130 and 135 millimeter non-drive side adapter, the drive side adapter for through axle, both 142 and 148. There's an also a 142 millimeter through axle adapter, 148 millimeter through axle adapter. We have the additional kicker access feet, both the stiff and the easy versions. The standard is installed. Also an additional end cap for an XDR free hub if you were to change. Out of the box, the kicker is set up with an 11 speed Shimano cassette and a 130 millimeter quick release setup. If your bike uses those things, you're ready to go. If not, you're gonna have to make some adjustments. It's a good idea to make sure that your bike is compatible. You can go to the Wahoo website and check the compatibility list. So the bike that I'm riding has a Shimano 12 speed cassette. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some adjustments here to the Wahoo kicker to get it ready for my bike. Once we're out of the box here, to get things set up, first thing we're gonna move out are the legs and then adjust the feet. For the legs, you're gonna press down on the blue and then pull those legs out till they lock. Same thing on the other side, push down on the blue and then lock on the other side. If your kicker isn't straight up or if it's rocking at all, you can make adjustments to the feet on both sides. A little more contact there, and then you can lock that in with the blue ring. On the other side, if I need to make any adjustments, I would do the same thing, adjust the whole foot, and then lock in with the blue. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and adjust the kicker for the size of the wheels of your bike. It comes out of the box set to a 24 inch road bike. If you're unsure of the size of your wheels, go ahead and take a look at the sidewall of your tires and it'll be indicated there. I'm gonna be moving this here to a 700C, which is the most common size for road bikes. And we need to loosen the silver knob first, pull that out, and then go ahead and lift the main body of the kicker and tighten it up. Clockwise, firm, you're ready to go. Now's a great time to go ahead and plug in your kicker. You're just gonna put the power into the adapter first, and then go ahead and plug into your outlet. You should see some lights light up at the back here as you plug in. So out of the box, the kicker comes with a Shimano 11 speed cassette. If you need to change to any other cassette or different free hub body like a SRAM XDR, you're gonna need to first remove your cassette. Start by removing your quick release, as well as both the drive side and non-drive side adapters, and go ahead, keep those together for use if you use a different bike with a quick release. Next, we're gonna remove the cassette by taking our chain whip and our lock ring removal tool and placing these on the cassette and removing the lock ring. Once we have the lock ring removed, go ahead and just hold the whole cassette together, pull off, and you're ready to install your other potential free hub or other cassette. 
As a reminder, if you're gonna be replacing an eight, nine, or 10 speed Shimano cassette, you will need to use the 1.8 millimeter spacer on the Freehub body before placing your cassette on. If you're using a Shimano 11 or 12 speed cassette, you do not need the spacer. If you use a SRAM XD or XDR cassette, you will need the SRAM XD, XDR Freehub and replace that. To place your new cassette on, find the small spline and line up your cassette. Slide your cassette all the way on and begin to tighten the lock ring by hand at first for the first few turns. Then you can use your wrench to finish tightening your cassette. To check and make sure everything is on correctly, go ahead and give it a wiggle and make sure that there is no play side to side. You can also spin the cassette backwards and make sure that everything is just moving straight up and down. Out of the box, the kicker is set for a 130 quick release. You'll need to place the silver adapter on the drive side and then either the Rode 130 or Mountain 135 black adapter on the non-drive side. Be sure to place the spring and start the quick release. You're ready to now place the bike on. If your bicycle has a through axle, then you're gonna to need to first completely remove the quick release assembly by opening the quick release, taking out the drive side adapter, as well as the non-drive side adapter, and then replace the drive side adapter on, and then select the appropriate adapter for the non-drive side. More common on road bike is a 142, which is the one we're gonna place in here. Make sure you point where the arrow is on the adapter in as you place it into the non-drive side. With the quick release bike, you wanna go ahead and shift into the highest gear, your smallest cog first before taking off the rear wheel. And then placing your wheel to the side. You're gonna place your chain into the same cog on the cassette on the kicker. Make sure that your dropouts fall into the quick release and then go ahead and tighten as you would if you were using a normal wheel. You're gonna go ahead then and test your gears. Go ahead onto your kicker and shift from the highest gear all the way up to your lowest gear. Make sure that everything is shifting properly. If you need to make any adjustments, you can do, the, do so with the barrel adjusters on your derailleur. If your bike has a through axle, you have to do some similar steps. Shift down into the smallest cog that you can. It may not be able to go all the way down if you have a DI2 system. If you have a clutch in your Rio derailleur, go ahead and lock the clutch. Take out your through axle, remove the rear wheel, place it aside. Then go ahead and place your dropouts down, in, line things up, and tighten to the specifications that your manufacturer has. We're gonna go ahead and check the shifting. So go ahead, get on your bike and go from your lowest cog, shift then up all the way and back down. If you need to make any adjustments to your derailleur, you can do so. If your bicycle has hydraulic disc brakes, then you're gonna need to use a disc brake block. Included with your kicker is one for a Shimano. If you use SRAM brakes, you'll need to purchase one separately from your dealer. Simply install the brake block in between the pads, lock into place to ensure 
that the brakes do not collapse in if you inadvertently pull on your brakes. Now that you've got your bike on, you're ready for a final check. Make sure that your bike is securely mounted. You can go ahead and adjust your leveling feet if you need to, to make any adjustments. Be sure to lock the blue rings there. Make sure your cassette is in. And go ahead and step on your bike. Go ahead and check your shifting. ready to ride. Let's walk through some of the key product features of your new Kicker. The all new Kicker features Wi-Fi connectivity and an ERG Easy ramp for smooth ramps from a dead stop. A new odometer to track your trainer's mileage, Wi-Fi LED, and new automatic firmware updates. All these new features plus all the old features from Kickers you've loved in the past add up to give you the best indoor riding experience. Let's look at Kicker's new Wi-Fi connectivity. Wi-Fi connectivity offers a more robust connection for training in your home. Wi-Fi offers lower latency and higher throughput, expanding the capabilities of what our trainer can do. With a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, the only limitation is the Wi-Fi speed in your home. Through the Wahoo app or system app, you can connect your trainer to your network, very similar to how Element configures Wi-Fi. At Wahoo, we like to stay connected. With the new Wi-Fi LED, you'll know exactly when your kicker is connected and ready to go. Similar to Bluetooth LED, it helps the user quickly understand the connection status of the trainer. The LED will slow blink white when searching for a network. Fast blink means it's discovered the network and working to connect. Solid white means that the trainer has a good connection on the network. We're excited for the all new kicker to feature automatic firmware updates. If you're like me, you don't have time to check the app to see if the latest version of firmware is available. Now you don't have to. Kicker will automatically download and install new firmware when available on our cloud. At night, when the trainer is idle, it will check the cloud to see if there's a new version of the firmware available. If there is one, it'll download the file and install it. Erg Easy Ramp is a new feature that allows a user to more easily ramp up to a target wattage from a dead stop. It can be difficult to get back up to a target wattage at a comfortable cadence, and this makes it much easier to accomplish. At Wahoo, we're in it for the long run. The all new odometer on the kicker allows you to track the overall mileage of your trainer. You'll know exactly how many miles you've trained. It tracks the number of wheel revolutions on the trainer and computes total mileage based on those. It assumes a standard 700 by 23 wheel or tire size. Part of creating a new training revolution is ensuring that the firmware our products use are continually updated. I know there's a lot that goes into creating a new training revolution. That should cover everything you need to know about your new kicker. Thanks for watching and until next time.